Hi, I'm Roger with Consort, and I want to talk for a few minutes about our Bannerflex banner brackets. And all of those are covered not only on our website, but also on our hardware uh, guidebook, which you can get a copy of either on the website or by uh, asking for it on email. Um, the brackets are generally, there's three Bannerflex main castings. There's the D3, which is the bigger one, the sort of the original. There's the Metro, which is the slightly smaller one, and then there's the Junior. Now the D3, which is this one here, is uh, generally for the bigger banners. It would be for banners anywhere from 30 by 60 by, uh, and 36 by 94 or, or slightly bigger. Um, and with the uh, D3, we offer the, the standard round arm. We call it the, uh, the round pro arm because it's a different uh, composition than most folks use and it's about 23% more flexible than the other, uh, than the competition, so to speak. The arrow is this one here. It's the one that uh, is very flexible, spills a lot of wind. That's available on the D3 bracket as well as the Metro bracket. That's the uh, arrow can have both the round pro and the, the arrow. Now, the Metro is different than the D3 because the banding ports are within it. It's a little sleeker, it's smaller. It's more for banners in uh, 18 by 36 to say 30 by 72. So, uh, and it also fits most flutes in um, ornamental poles or, or what we call pedestrian poles. So that's why it's designed. It's, it's a very special product. Took us a while to figure this one out. And then the, uh, the least expensive and sort of smaller version is called the Bannerflex JR for Junior. And it's a non-canted uh, version, and I'll talk about canting in a second. Uh, this one is more for 18 by 36 to 30 by 72, that kind of thing. And it's available uh, only in the round pro arm, not with the arrow. Now, the Bannerflex system started out in 85 as a canted system where the top arm is canted up and the bottom arm is canted down and when the banner is put on it takes the shape the, the actual arm takes the shape of the banner and so it ends up to being a very tight trim fit and so when the wind blows um, the force goes directly into uh, the fiberglass arm from the banner so you get a lot of wind uh, flex that way, so you don't get any flapping and uh, the movement in the breeze to wear out the banner. Uh, other little accessories that are possible with banner flex is a uh, what we call a flower pot holder. It's simply a, a ring that holds about a 40 pound flower pot or more, but that's kind of generally the, the size. And then we have a flagpole adapter. So you can put your flagpoles um, instead of the banner or, or another one down here with the banner. And then another one that's a little bit trickier to learn to know about is we call this the square pole adapter. Now if you take a, a, a square pole, let's call this a square pole, this is the face of a square pole, and you band that on there, there's a tendency for that casting to move around because the banding isn't putting much tension on that. Well, we have the square pole adapter for both the D3 and the Metro, and that pulls that bracket out and allows more tension uh, for the bamboo to take hold. And again, all of these are available to be banded with the usual uh, banding, either tool applied or our special ideal um, 5 eighths inch banding. Or as well as they can all be uh, bolt applied too. And all of the uh, instructions for how to apply those, all, all of the Bannerflex brackets are on page nine of the guidebook. And that's it for right now. Thank you very much.